What is going on my dudes? It is officially a new year, 2023. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. It's really good to have you here. Now 2023, we're really cutting through the years here. Would have expected to see a whole lot more of a, a futuristic sort of aesthetic, you know, like like Back to the Future predicted. All we've really got to show for ourselves is, well, not a, not a whole lot really. But one thing we have to show for ourselves that Back to the Future most definitely did not predict is future rhythm. So anyway, I thought it'd be a perfect idea now that we're moving forward into the future, into 2023. I thought it'd be a great time to sit down and make some future rhythm, at least attempt to. So let's not waste any more time. Let's hit this future rhythm. Let's get into it. Right, headphones activated. We're on. Right, first things first, we need to set our tempo and because this is a dubstep type genre, we're going right around that 140 to 150 mark. Honestly, you can go anywhere in the sort of range. It just depends how fast or how slow you want your drums tempo to be hitting. All right, so you know me, I'm all about the vibes on this channel and the best way I like to create vibes is with bass lines and with atmospheres. So as you can see, I've got a couple of core elements on the playlist right here. We've got a bass line and this is super simple, just a, a serum sort of Reese bass. So that's a good low end starting point for this track. Now we want to fill some mid range and some high end frequencies with a nice atmospheric loop. As you can see, I've got a couple here. One's just panned to the left and one's just panned to the right. And that just creates a big wide, big roomy type feel. Now if I add the bass line back in here, it's going to create a nice starting point for this track and really set the vibe, just creating the vibes right here. Alright, building off that starting point, I wanted to add a few more layers to the mix and I also wanted to create a nice little intro so we're not starting with a bass line. So what I've added here is just some keys and that is just using a Labs textural pad called Avor, probably not how you pronounce it, but you know. And to complete this little intro part, we've just got a nice little thunder atmospheric sample, just super immaculate vibes here. Right, now that we've created a nice little intro, we want to go into a more fuller, more exciting type of verse. So as you can see, I've added a few more layers in here. So as you can see, we've got a verse synth and now this is just using another Labs Synth Strings Classic Brass. And that's just playing a nice vibey little chord progression there. And then we have some stabbing keys and this is just on a, a serum and that's just a little low pass sort of pluck type thing. And of course we want to bring the big atmosphere, the big full sounds of future rhythm. So we've got some big ace aura impacts and downlifters in there just to, to keep the energy really, really high. All right, last but not least, we have our main vocal. So this is the vocal that is going to tie everything together and just give it that, that signature sound that it needs to be a future rhythm track. So right here, I've just got a snippet of it and it's quite distorted and quite, quite roomy, but sounds good. When you're coming back So these are just little pitched up versions of that same phrase just repeating down the bottom here. So all those elements together, we have something nice and full and full of character and full of vibes and just perfect future rhythm type intro. Alright, for the second half of this verse, we're not doing anything 
very spectacular at all. We're just adding some claps and then just repeating the high pitched sort of vocal phrase over and over just a few more times. <laughs> Right, so we've sussed out the verse here. Now we need to progress towards a drop. We need to start raising the stakes, raising the energy and come towards that, that perfect future rhythm track. So as you can see at the top here, I cut a lot of my initial instruments. I cut the keys, I cut the bass, I cut the synths and the stabbing keys. And what we're left with is the acapella in a fuller form. So I wanted to stretch out that acapella so I have some, some vocals in the build up. As you can see, the claps continue through and then get a little bit faster. We've got some snares and a kick and a little hi-hat to just sort of make it feel a bit more like a, a rhythm track. And then of course, I mean, it wouldn't be a build-up section without some big rises and also just keeping the impacts to keep the energy up. So the last part of this build up section is to tease the drop a little. So all I've included from the drop is the actual color base, which is actually sort of sort of a background element, but it allows the drop to sort of come through in the build up section and sort of tease it just enough so we know what's coming. So I've just reverb filtered this and EQ filtered it, just super simple, just to sort of keep it in the background and sort of bring it towards the front of the mix as we move towards the end of the build up. So everything together in this build-up section sounds like this and then we're ready to hit that drop. All right, now we are into the future rhythm drop. So as we look at the project here, I mean, maybe it looks a little complex, but honestly, it's just a few layers working in harmony and just really, really coming through to, you know, work together as a team and just, just create, create a future rhythm drop. I, I mean, someone could have said that far better, but that's how I said it. So we'll roll with it. All right, so first things first, super simple, rhythm type beat i mean nothing difficult about this if you can click your mouse on the playlist you can make a future rhythm beat add some high-end elements we've got a hi-hat and some rides and then just this little shaker all right so now moving on to the bass Honestly got no idea why I've kept this called verse bass. Kind of misleading, but it's actually the drop bass. But anyway, it's just a nice gritty, simple bass that just follows an LFO pattern. I'll play it so you can hear it. So the makeup of this bass stack is just some simple gritty little layers. And then they're all running into their own processor. We've got Camel Crusher and OTT to really squash those together. And then I've routed the bass master to go to the drop LFO. And as you'll see, there's quite a few elements going into this drop LFO. Essentially what it is, is a bit of extra processing, extra Camel Crusher, extra OTT, never hurt anyone. But the magic is in this LFO tool. So as you can see, here is the shape. That's quite a rhythm shape. Anyone that's made rhythm, probably recognizes that shape. And as you can see, the rate will change. I've made automations here. As you can see, here's the drop LFO automation. Now that's just gonna be changing it between speeds to make it go faster and slower. Right, we'll move on to the color base here because who doesn't love a color base? I know I love a color base. So 
so it just sounds like a melodic vocoder talking like a dubstep bass and there is an easy way to make your own vocoder color bass essentially you want a couple layers one layer is a dubstep bass now i've just got a simple little talk bass here <laughs> And then the second layer is just a simple hypersaw chords type sound and that is playing chords and these are the same chords that I used from the verse section. So what you're going to do is have your dubstep bass in one channel so I've got it 31 here and then you're going to have your chords in another channel so I've got it 32 here. Then what you're going to do is create your vocoder channel so this is in 33 and then we are going to take our bass and sidechain to this track and then take our chords and sidechain to this track so they're both sidechained to the vocoder. So for this little selection box we want our bass to be going into it so we'll select it there and for the second one we want our chords to be going into it so select it there and it'll 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 sound like this. So moving along we're adding another layer I wanted to add a nice little transient and I'm really liking lasers at the moment don't know why but I just got this laser sample and I put it on all the beats of when the LFO hits. So if you listen to it, it just sounds like lasers pewing. It sounds like freaking Star Wars. If you add it with the bass and the color bass, which are all going through the LFO, it actually, it actually works quite nicely in harmony. <laughs> All right, so now that we have all our support elements in our drums, we need to give this drop character. So what I've done for this drop is something I love to do and that's use a vocal in the drop. So this is just a vocal slice compilation all put together. Um, I took it from the vocals that I used in the build up. If we go over here, we can see the vocal slices in the original form and they just sound like this. When you're coming back, when you're coming back, when you're coming back for more, when you're coming back. So I just reprocessed that into this drop vocal here and that is running through into this channel and it's just got a bit more distortion on it to beef it up, cutting the low end out of it and that sounds like this. Play all of those elements together and you have, you have some heat. As we close out this drop, I cut the color bass and I cut the drop vocal and then I added back the actual vocals from the build up section and that just plays along with the bass and the drums and the lasers and just sounds cool. Just sounds real cool. All right, folks, there we have it. We have completed our future rhythm track. Let me know in the comments if I nailed the style or completely missed but what i think we have is pretty vibey pretty pretty hard hitting and pretty future rhythm so i just want to say a big thank you to you guys for all your support over 2022 i finally released some music and it meant a lot to me that so many of you went over and listened to that and really vibed with it got no idea what we have in store for 2023 honestly got no plans anyway guys that's enough talking from me i know you guys want to hear the final future rhythm track that we have just created. Thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you right back here for the next video. And as always, have a good one.